Welcome to this week's weekly update. This week it's all about a familiar topic, the implementation of Obamacare, specifically the possibility of implementing a state health exchange in Idaho. We start with an independent study by the Idaho Freedom Foundation, which publishes IdahoReporter.com, the Free Enterprise PAC, and Idaho Chooses Life. The three organizations polled 600 Idahoans, all registered voters, both Republicans and Democrats, asking if they supported big government ideas regarding the health care markets. Just 23% said they believed the Supreme Court ruling on Obamacare was good for the country, while 61% believed it wasn't. As far as implementing a state health exchange, 64% were against doing so, with just 18% saying they were in favor of it. With regards to the possible expansion of Medicaid in the state, which the Congressional Budget Office estimates would cost taxpayers $800 billion in its first decade, 63.5% opposed expanding the program in Idaho. Wayne Hoffman, Executive Director for the Idaho Freedom Foundation, released a video response about the polling results as well. There are Democrats as well as Republicans that are telling legislators do not implement this law, they want to see free market solutions. And to that end, we'll do everything we can to help remind legislators that there are free market solutions and we'll be happy to help them reach those conclusions as the 2013 legislative session unfolds. Sticking with Obamacare, Representative Stephen Thane from Emmett has put together a report outlining his concerns with the implementation of Obamacare. Thane wrote a guest opinion for IdahoReporter.com where he outlined some of his concerns. Thane believes that Obamacare will increase the cost of medical care, reduce access to care, and reduce the number that are able to afford private health insurance. Thane says that under Obamacare, costs will rise because within the law, there is no increase to the number of doctors, nurses, or hospitals. The only thing it does is increase the number of mandated services. In his report, Thane lays out several suggestions that Idaho can do to reduce the cost of medical coverage for Idahoans, including health savings accounts, an accident-only policy, and changes in the tax code, which would give individuals the same advantages that businesses have. Looking ahead to next week, Obamacare will be in the forefront again. On Monday, the Health Care Task Force will be meeting in the Capitol in East Wing, Room 42. The committee is made up of 14 legislators, 7 House members, and 7 Senate members. The meeting is open to the public and will also be streaming live over the Internet. To listen to the live stream, visit www.legislature.idaho.gov. Also next week, IdahoReporter.com looks into the Treasure Valley's public transportation system, Valley Ride, and the costs associated with it. To stay up to date with IdahoReporter.com, visit our website, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter, at IdahoReporter. Thank you for watching this week's weekly update. Have a great weekend.